Well, hello and welcome to this sketchbook tour video. Yes, in this video, I walk you through a 2008 sketchbook. Now, if you watch my video, Why I'm Pivoting My Art, then I talked about my previous art career back in the UK and how I've had to make a massive leap. Now I'm here in Western Australia. Of course, I had a lot of sketchbooks back in the day. A lot of them have been lost or gone, and some things are in transit as we speak on the ocean coming over here. But I did bring this book with me because I was really fond of what was in it, the process I went through, etc., etc. So enjoy the walkthrough. If you like more videos like this, you'd like to see a bit more behind the scenes in how I create what I create, then don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and leave me a comment below to let me know if you'd like to see more of this sort of video. All right, let's do the walkthrough. Here we go. So here we go. Here's a sketchbook from 2008. And it's the only one that I've kept, actually, but I thought it might be quite interesting to show you. So you can see that I've got a list of topics, some photographs, some kind of playing with the shapes over here. And again, some sketches. And then just like you see, I've played with the ladders and the shapes. This is how I'm getting my sort of semi-abstractness so one of my favorite places in Polparo that I've painted from a lot. I've even drawn out some of the windows just as a reference point. And again, photographs that have been cut up, some drawing here, some playing with shapes and design over here. And more of the same after kind of developed it. I've got a bit of an obsession with these shapes of the ladders and the windows. And then there's a little bridge there that, that features a lot in my work. And then just playing with some color and shape over here. And I've even got, this is tracing paper, so actually that belongs to a different page altogether, I think. And then I just continued again, we're just playing with ideas and simplifying shapes. And not many of these have actually arrived in completed paintings, but there's a process there that you can see. So again, another photograph, probably Paul Perro, more sketching, more playing, playing with colors, playing with shapes. And then um, we've got old blue and orange that you know I've used a lot over the years. More photographs of, this is actually of things primarily Paul Perra, I think. Um, again, I think I might have, that might have turned into some sort of painting. And just literally reducing the shapes down, reducing, and then you can see here that there's a bit of a tracing paper sketch. So sometimes I would play with tracing paper and just make something different out of it. Palette has changed a little bit over here, muted colors. These definitely turned into originals, I think a few, few over here that definitely went all the way. Um, again, color palette. And then I've just changed, I don't know why, but I got interested in doorways and suddenly we've gone a little bit kind of Indian or Moroccan. I don't quite know what's gone on there, but I've gone, obviously got a bit influenced by something there. So this, this is what happens in a sketchbook, isn't it? You go off and you develop those. Those did not go into paintings. It was a bit of a distraction. Here's um, a bit of a photoshopped from the sketch. I'm pretty sure a couple of those might have turned into something. Really got into that shape clearly. So <laughs> carried on there. And then when you can see the similarity, I say these did not, these did not go anywhere in terms of paintings because they didn't really fit with what I was doing. But you can just see my process. Plus it's fun to look back in time. And then, oh, here we are back <laughs> in familiar territory and um, just some pen and some pen and ink going on here again pretty sure these came out into definite paintings this one 100 percent did um, we've got some mausel harbor there i think i painted that a few times these definitely were ones that i think all three of those came out into paintings and have all been subsequently sold a few of these as well so as you see how it all looks even stuck together through through the time and again, continue playing with the theme. Perhaps we'll put one of these back through here, hey. And I've filled the whole book to the point where I've even stuck some Photoshop playing around stuff at the back. So there we go, that's my 2008 sketchbook. Just thought I'd show that to you as part of the process. Perhaps when I bring all my stuff back, it's finally arriving in February, I'll actually get to bring back some more things to show you as well.